Early. He's already going for it. He's already going for it. He's, he's freaking out early. We already got the game plan. Oh, man. What's up? It's Juice Beats back again with another race video. And this one is the uh, 26th annual Turkey Day ride with my old trainer, Charles Patron. And uh, this is the one that uh, I do every year for the last four years that I have been riding. So as we get started, this is really kind of a, a rolling warm up, getting ready to get started. It's a little cold this morning. I believe it was 30 degrees, somewhere in there maybe. It wasn't super cold like it was the year before, but uh, you know, still cold enough that you had to bundle up a little bit here. And um, so we are just kind of rolling down the street at the beginning here. This is kind of the start, kind of, uh, you know, the warm up, kind of just making sure everybody is getting together first. And that's kind of how it was for the uh, beginning of this ride slash race. So most of this ride slash race is a ride. So a little bit more social than it is a race, but at some point you got to turn it into something and to preface a little bit uh, before this race. So I had COVID uh, the week before this race, uh, got over it maybe Sunday. This race was uh, on Thanksgiving. So, uh, the, you know, the next Thursday, um, I did a Zwift racing league race on Tuesday and still didn't feel right at all on Tuesday. Uh, got obliterated <laughs> and then yeah so this is the Thursday so still like a week out basically um, a little less than a week out from COVID and so still not feeling completely like myself my heart rate has been running 10 to 15 beats per minute higher than normal or that it normally would um, so you know, it, it makes you feel like you're not in shape, basically. Um, you know, uh, slight pushes um, in the wattage and stuff like that send my heart rate sky high. So uh, that, that was kind of my problem in the uh, Zwift Racing League race. And, you know, at the beginning of that race, I believe this was the one uh, where, if you haven't seen it on my channel already, it was the Glasgow Crit uh, course and yeah, so there was a sprint right at the beginning of that one and it sent my heart rate through the roof right away and then I couldn't recover on that one. But uh, if you hadn't seen that one, uh, go check it out. It's a, it's a short video. So um, yeah, check that out on my channel. But anyway, so Thursday felt like I was a little bit better, but I wasn't quite sure. And I figured since it was cold outside that maybe that would kind of help protect my heart rate a little bit more than uh, it normally would. You know, uh, hotter weather usually tends to ha uh, let my heart rate go up a little bit higher and then colder weather kind of protects my heart rate a little bit more. I'm able to uh, consolidate, I guess not consolidate, but um, you know, keep it a little bit lower in the colder weather. So uh, I was hoping that that was kind of the case, especially being outdoors uh, because the Zwift races are indoors. So you tend to be a little bit hotter anyway, even with the fan and the window and all that stuff open. So uh, outdoors, maybe it would feel a little bit better. And honestly, like I will go ahead and tell you, like I did feel a little bit better outdoors uh, just because it was cold and all that, but I still had the same problems with my heart rate. Um, it's already sitting there close to 160 and we're not even really doing much yet. So um, we're, we're riding at 15 miles an hour and, and cruising. Um, but I'm, I'm hanging in there, I'm, I'm doing okay. Like the the ride hasn't picked up or anything at this point. We are, we are still on the very first road, just kind of cruising out at the moment. And um, yeah, <laughs> one thing that uh, I'm doing at the moment is uh, Freddy is 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 the is the rider. He is he's been riding for a long time. He is strong. He is he's fast. He's he's a he's a climber slash um, endurance guy. So he's the one to kind of watch for. 
He's the one that I slimly beat last year because I was able to keep up with his attacks. Um, so I'm, he's going to be gunning for me this year. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the competition here. So I'm, I'm kind of holding back at the moment. I'm, I'm just still kind of warming up still early we're only 2.3 miles into the race at this point so i'm trying to wait and and see at this point i'm not really a breakaway type rider and i think you know for for his skill set he would be better suited for a breakaway so um yeah i've got to kind of watch out for that and see if he does go for it and you know i'd have to uh hustle and catch up to his wheel which he has done in the past. He did that uh, a couple years ago. Took off. It was actually coming up on this road. And I thought I was catching up to him, but I just I could not get the wheel that year. I wasn't as strong a rider. I was, I was definitely heavier at that point. But, um, you know, after after that year, I did get get much stronger and lighter on the bike. So, um, I have been able to to ride a bit better since then. Here we go. Charles got the uh, iPod with uh, Chris Brown in his ears there, blasting. Got some good tunes for the ride here. Still haven't really picked up. We're still kind of social riding right now. We're still we're still chilling. Um, more of a base <laughs> zone two type ride, but. Uh, see uh, Charles out there and no hands chilling <laughs> all right coming to a good point here where we're about to see Freddie come up there on the right of me so this is who I'm, I'm watching out for he's coming up I want to make sure that uh, he's not taking off on me and uh, yeah, that's that's who I need to watch out for. He he is the the strongest in the group, and and the one that uh, I'm I'm basically competing with. Here we go. I think we start picking up here in just a second, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're moving a bit faster. I know we're going downhill, but we are moving a bit faster here. So you can see my, my watts are going up a little bit. I think we're going up just a slight incline there, but uh, yeah, the watts are, watts are coming up, feeling feeling okay, heart rate kind of in check. I uh, feel like it, it would normally be a little bit lower than that, but feeling okay. We're, we're going, <laughs> going slightly uphill here. No attacks or anything, but uh, we are trying to uh, push the pace a little bit more here. We've been we've been you know obviously social riding and and, and uh, moving a little bit slower than than normal, but uh, we we are starting to uh, put together a little bit uh, of speed here going on on this road. So that's the road that we come back on to the right there. Um, sometimes some years they will. <laughs> They will cut off if if we're too far ahead at this point. They will cut it off and uh, and turn there. But uh, it looks like everybody is coming this way and and doing the the longer part of the route. So once we go up over this uh, hill, this is this is where I feel like we we start to push it a little bit more here. Not quite racing, but definitely pushing the pace a lot more um, this is sort of a, a faster downhill slightly downhill section um, so we do pick up a little bit more speed on this and, and it you know of course if you put down the watts on this road right here um, you will gain a pretty good amount of speed as well and a lot of I mean a lot of these roads I ride on pretty frequently um, especially with in my group rides like uh, these are part of the roads that we ride on um, as the group and, and go out to uh, Lenore City area where usually we start in, in Farragut and Knoxville and 
and then right out to uh, Lenore City and, and parts like that. So um, this is kind of towards that way at the moment here. And you can see we've already got a gap and we're not really pushing it all that hard, but we were, you know, our speed is increasing here. And going down that hill, we, we picked up enough speed that we've left everybody else behind here. And we are going. So it's just us two right here. Um, haven't really started racing racing yet, but uh, yeah, this is what it's going to come down to right here. The us two towards the end. Let's see uh, how well we push it right here. So we're getting close to our turnaround point. I'm looking in the back rear rear cam here just to see. I can't really see anybody. It's, it's crazy how, how quickly we could move away from uh, the rest of the peloton at this point, but we are, we're moving decently. We're, we're not uh, quite race pacing it at the moment. And you can see the wattage is not quite what a race would be at this point, but we're, we're moving pretty good. Um, and I think, you know, especially into maybe a bit of a headwind as well. Um, and a, and a cold morning like this. Uh, so we, we are moving pretty good, but the heart rate is climbing. So a little worried about that. It was a little hard to tell, I think, um, when I was riding, if I would be able to push it uh, and just looking at it, you know, I'm, I'm able to hang in there or whatever I'm drafting and all that stuff. But, um, you know, if, if the pace were to get pushed a little bit more, it was a little tough for me to tell if I'd be able to uh, cover it or anything like that. So here we go. This is the, uh, the last little bit of a hill up until the turning round point. And you can see I'm pushing my watts. My heart rate's kind of under um, in check at the moment. Pushing the watts up over 500 here, trying to keep up. Do I go in it? Yep, I go a little bit higher, over 700 there. So here we go, here's the turnaround point. Um, and then we decide to kind of wait here. So we're being, we're being friendly. <laughs> All right, so we waited around for uh, between five and 10 minutes or something, and everybody's back together almost. I think Charles met up with another group and, uh, and kind of turned around before we got there. And then Rob, right there, just had a little bit of a mechanical, and uh, it took him a minute to try to catch back up to everybody because he had a, a slight mechanical early on, I think chain or something like that uh, drop. And then he may have had another chain drop there. So uh, he has he has stopped up and, and trying to get that fixed. And we are on our way back here. And so this is kind of where I was thinking, okay, now we can kind of pick it up. I know we, we re regrouped and, and try to get everybody back together. But you know, at this point, you gotta start kind of racing. <laughs> You see where we're going a little bit slower than I'd like. There's a couple more guys there to the left. They are uh, going back up, up the hill there. Do the turn around. Here we go. So this is where I'm gonna try to push it a little bit more. Not really, you know, trying to make a breakaway, but just gonna take the lead here and 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 push the the, the pace a little bit more and and just see what happens here. I'm looking back there. I was like, oh man, maybe if I had pushed a little bit harder because I've got a little bit of a gap here, <laughs> maybe I could have gotten away at least for a little bit. But here comes Freddy. You know, he pushes it, gets right up behind me. He's ready to go. But now now the pace is, is, is more race-like. 25 miles an hour, we're, we're moving a little bit more here. And like I said, I'm pretty familiar with these roads because I ride them with, with uh, a lot of my group rides. So um, kind of know the, you know, the road rollers and, and smoothness of the road, all that, all that stuff. Still moving along here, going up a little bit of a, a rise. Back camera is switched over to my cyclic back camera. 
uh, the GoPro went out on me. Luckily, I had my cyclic uh, back camera on with with my back camera or back light and all that stuff. I went ahead and brought it with me, um, basically so I'd have a back light, but also kind of a back backup back camera. I'm not sure what's going on. I, it could be that the cold had something to do with that. It did go out on me um, last year, I believe. It was either the front or the back camera. I can't remember, but went out on me uh, uh, may maybe around this point as well. Um, and and so I think maybe the cold has something to do with it. It's, it's pretty crazy though, because I have an extra battery pack that I put on that one in the back and it's supposed to last, you know, five hours or something like that. And of course, we're only maybe an hour into this ride or, some, or not even an hour. Uh, into this ride and yeah, it's already gone out on me. So uh, luckily I had the cyclic back camera So the view looks a little bit different. It's a little bit lower on on the back of my uh, bike there, but um, Basically Same view on that But it's just me and Freddie at this point. We're still moving along We, we have pushed the pace. We have left the uh, the other group getting ready to uh to turn down one of the one of the last roads um so th there's not much to this this course as you can see there on the right i mean it's it's almost a straight shot pretty much from the beginning it, it looks like there's only uh, you know a couple turns in it basically but um everything has been pretty easy up until the point we're still kind of friendly racing at this point um you know, I pushed the pace a little bit more because I, I didn't want to sit there at 15, 16 miles an hour for too long. I wanted to, to kind of stretch it out here. So we're moving a little bit more here. We're we're uh, averaging a little bit better on the uh, on the speed as well. All right, we've pretty much been riding next to each other for a little bit, and uh, so now he's going to take the lead at the moment. I'm just going to draft a little bit here and uh, hopefully conserve some energy because you can see my heart rate has gotten up up there and we I, I didn't feel like we'd been pushing it all that much but uh, yeah getting over this this COVID thing is is it's been pretty tough um, at the time of recording this I am feeling a little bit better had a race yesterday with Zwift and um, definitely felt much better I felt like I could push it a little bit more my heart rate wasn't gonna go sky high and, and, and just blow up so uh, definitely starting to feel more comfortable and and get a better feel for how my heart rates gonna react now but uh, yeah I don't think it's it's quite perfect yet but uh, yeah it'll, it'll take maybe another week or so for me to do some more endurance and, and all that and uh, and get back to uh, being fully healthy again and hopefully build on my endurance again in this winter months of doing a lot of base training and and a little bit of racing on Zwift. But here we go. We're we're getting ready to pass Charles. So they, they took a little shortcut, turned around a little bit earlier, and, and now we're catching back up to them and passing them. You can see we're going 28 miles an hour and just passing them pretty quickly. Freddy pulls over, lets me take the lead here. So now I got to keep the, the speed going. It's going to get a little bit of a break and, uh, and let me do some of the work up there on the front. But I'm OK. I mean, um, even though my heart rate is up there, that's, that's kind of like 160s, mid 160s or whatever. It, it seems a little bit more normal. Um, at this point like in a race or something like that and it, as far as like wattage and all that uh, It seems a little bit more normal, especially going at these speeds um, Like normally in a race if we were doing something like that, it'd, it'd probably be somewhere around there But also it wouldn't spike very quickly up there. It, it would gradually get to that point. So um, So it is a little still a little bit different obviously in this race. We've got a couple little risers right here this is a good point if he wanted to to uh to take me on and uh and and pull away from me 
because hills are not my friend. I, because of my, my size compared to him, <laughs> especially, um, it's tougher for me to go up hills like this. So I'm, I'm glad that he's kind of restraining a little bit at this point. So you can see we're, we're hitting that gradual hill right here. So it's not too much. It looks, it looks more intimidating from further away than it actually really is. But um, you can see over there, it kind of one percenter and then it zeroes out and then two percenter and zeroes out. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, you know, go crazy or anything like that. So it's a, it's a little bit of a climb, it's not crazy, but I mean, you can see the wattage, you know, I've gotta be able to keep up. Not quite Winston-Salem where uh, you had to push it, well, for me, over a thousand watts and, uh, and try to crush that hill that they had there uh, just to be able to keep up with everybody else. That one, uh, that was the toughest race I think all year that I, I did. So, um, and I actually just saw a video recently of the uh, the pro Peloton doing that race. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, it's on the uh, NorCal Cycling, uh, their YouTube page, but uh, they just did the Winston-Salem race in the pro Peloton and you could see guys that are much smaller than me they're pushing over 800 watts up that hill in that pro peloton just to be able to keep up with everybody so um, definitely a tough hill and my toughest race of the year i was lucky that i was able to hang in as long as i did anyway here we go 20 miles only a few more miles left we are rolling 30 miles an hour moving really well at this point and there's only basically one more turn uh, to the left after a few more miles of this. All right, so I'm taking the front here, sped up a little bit here. I'm taking the front at this point because I know that if I take the front at this point, I could maybe sit in his draft on the last leg. There's only a few more miles left. We're at 22 at this point. And I know we're going to, I think 25, 26. So there's, yeah, there's only a few more miles left. But if I take a really good pull on this, on this stretch, then I can let him take the front and I can draft a little bit uh, later on. So, all right, I've given it a good two, two and a half mile uh, push at, the, at this point. So um, I'm kind of slowing down a little bit. So I, I want him to take the front. Uh, so that I can draft a little bit, maybe saves a little bit of energy. Um, coming down to about 2,000 meters to go to the end, so not too much further. Um, you know, this is kind of like the last two laps in a crit race or something like that, so uh, we're getting down to it. Well, we're coming through this point of the road where we've got, you know, intersection, um, with the interstate and all that stuff. So uh, I'm also being cautious at this point as well uh, because of, you know, obviously more traffic, more cars and, um, and stoplights and all that stuff. So kind of slowing down a little bit for that and, and just watching out and making sure we're, we're being safe at this point. But you can see I'm not drafting and I should be behind him. He's, he's out kind of in uh, on the other side of the road there, and I should be right behind him. You know, I've, I've just put in this big pull, and, the, and, and uh, you know, I should be drafting behind him, but um, I'm also keeping an eye on him as well. And we're coming up. So we've got a little bit of a green light right here. So we gotta go through this one. We're still good at this point. Um, closing down almost to uh, 1600 meters left. And here I go, so I see that it's red and I'm slowing down and then he gets a little bit of a gap right here. And I'm like, oh, wait, 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 hold up. <laughs> he's going through, so I'm watching him and then there it goes. So he's looking, he's watching the traffic. It does turn green right as we go through, but yeah, he was watching for the traffic to make sure and he gets a jump on me and, and I'm pushing out a lot of watts here. I'm pushing out. You can see my heart rate just completely spikes up really, really quickly. I'm getting close. 
I'm thinking I'm getting close right here, but he's still pulling away. He's still able to uh, to motor past right here. And I'm trying. I can't get into his his draft at this point. And I'm pushing really hard, and he's he's still pulling away. He's got he's got a lot of energy left. And you can see he's really really pushing, and I'm trying. My heart rate is almost close to my max at this point. We're at 178. It just it like it shot up so quick on that was not quite ready for that he did he got that little gap and and he took advantage of it on the uh on the stoplight there and so now he's got a huge gap and i am just huffing and puffing and and i've got nothing left right here so and we're coming down to the last 800 meters right here we're we're not far from the uh the finish line and I have nothing, I have nothing left. I gotta let my heart rate kind of calm down a little bit at that point. Once it gets up to there, uh, especially coming out of the out of the sickness at this point, uh, I just had no chance whatsoever. And then we're going over these rollers, which I've been over these rollers a, a bunch of times on group rides and, and previous uh, turkey rides as well. And they, I mean, they affect you. Uh, they're they're still tough, but you know, it's not something that uh, usually would hold me back or anything like that. But I just, you know, at the end of this race, not having anything left, and then having to go over that, trying to catch up to him, it was just it was too much at this point. So I think uh, he's he's turning down uh, the last road here to uh, go up to the finish line. My heart rate is still up there over 170. I'm trying to put in a last dig effort here, so I know this is this is the end. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna catch him at this point. So coming in on my fourth Turkey Day race ride, and I come in second. So I'm hitting I'm hitting the podium this year. Didn't get first like last year, but uh, coming in second. We had a really good sprint finish last year. Um, I was able to keep up with him. On, on the last little bit, but uh, this year was not able to keep up. And, and here I go coming up this last hill and finishing out in uh, second on the podium for the uh, 26th annual Turkey Day ride sponsored by Charles Patron Training. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know when I post videos. And yo, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.